Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I realized I never introduced myself in the beginning of my video, so my name is Vera Change and I'm a beauty photographer and retoucher based in the UK. What I want to talk to you about today is something you guys have been asking a lot and that is dodging and burning. Um, I received some comments and even some emails from people asking if I can upload my dodging and burning actions somewhere so they can download them and you know, start using them in their workflow. So I decided that um, I'm not going to do it. I know, <laughs> probably not what you were expecting, but uh, I believe in a first-hand learning experience and if you learn it yourself, if you learn it the hard way and if you understand what's behind it, then you might be a little bit better at it and you, you know, get a little bit better results. For that reason, I decided to show you everything today, explain to you everything what's, you know, in this dodging and burning, how the layer works, how you can create your own actions what helping layers you can use to like help you get a bit of results so hopefully that way you will learn it properly and start using it for your own benefit so before we jump into photoshop pictures waiting i want to just ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any future uploads and also give a thumbs up to this video if you find it helpful uh, yeah without further ado let's go have a look So here we are in the Photoshop and I have this picture here I took a couple of days ago with a great team and all the Instagrams are linked in the description box below so you can go have a look. For the dodging and burning actions we need to start with finding this action button, it's a little arrow right here. If it's not here or nowhere nearby, go up here to window and check actions. Um, within this action first we need to create a folder. so. We have all the dodging and burning actions all together because we will be creating uh, more, not just one today. So first let's just hit this group icon and I will create our new set and I'll just call this set dodge and burn. Okay, now the set is there and within this set let's just create the first action. You create action by clicking this little new layer icon and call this dodge and burn plus help. I like all my actions to be one-click actions, so I just click once and all the layers are created for me together with the helping layer, so that's why I'm creating this first one, this most important one, all together. Make sure it's in the dodging and burning set and hit record. Now when this red circle is there, you know you're recording, so you're good to go. For dodging and burning, we first gonna create group so hit this group button here and within this group first adjustment layer of curves but first let's just find the middle point here and drag it down a little bit not too much because as you see if we're going further the saturation keeps changing as well and we don't really want that so I'll just stick with just a little bit that is going to be our burn layer invert the mask uh, by pressing Ctrl I, so we hide the effect under the mask. And next one, let's do one more curve adjustment layer, and this time drag the point up a little bit. Again, not too much because then we losing textures and everything. Just a little bit. That is going to be our dodge layer. Again, hide the effect, Ctrl I, and now we can rename the group. Dodging and burning micro, that will be our first dodge and burn. Some people switching the mode to from normal to luminosity. I don't do that unless it's necessary. If it's in a luminosity, it's not gonna affect any saturation or color or anything like that. But since we set the curves for just very little, so the saturation is not gonna be affected anyway, uh, unless you go really, really hard on the flow. Next one is going to be another group and within this group another adjustment layer so we're basically gonna do the same again uh, for another dodging and burning step as I'm doing a couple of rounds of dodging and burning and I like to keep everything separately because if you want to go back and use the black brush to you know undo something what you've done then you are sure you're you know, reaching on the right layer and you don't destroy anything else is going to be general dodging and burning and let's create helping layers as well group again first adjustment layer of hue and saturation bring that all the way down to get rid of all the colors 
and now we see it's a little bit flat so guess what <laughs> kind of adjustment layer but this time here in this shadow area as you know this is your shadows this is your mid-tones and this is your highlights so in the shadow area just bring the point down a little bit until you start seeing a little more contrast and uh, you can see the dark patches a little bit more clearly and that's our help layer help group now we can go back to action and press stop. Let's have a look if all the actions works how we set them. Let me first delete those three what we just created and hit play. See if all is going to be created for us. Ooh, well, very well. It's all here. Nice. So that works. We can move on to creating a little more actions. So I told you we'll be doing a couple. Next one will be new action here again. And that will be our additional. Hit record. And create an additional layers. Just in case you need to bring more dodging and burning, but you don't want to do it on the same layers. For dodge middle point up. Let's call it dodge. Inverting the mask, control I. And calling this dodging and burn additional addy add, whatever you wanna call it. Just so you know it's another one, another set. Hit stop. And let's have a look. Dodge and burn additional play. Great works again let's delete those and last two actions what we will be creating today is the dodge and burn separately you need to do everything one by one when you're recording the actions but then you don't have to do it any anymore so just go through this create one burn layer just on its own just when you need just burn or just dodge you don't have to create all the layers all the time, you can just create this one that is separately. Hit stop, that's burn. Let's do the same for dodge. New action again, call that dodge. Within the dodge and burn set, so it's all together. Create one adjustment layer. Last one, curves. Bring the point up to make the image brighten. Call it dodge invert mask and we are done we can hit stop and that's it those are all our layers let's have a look we have the and burn plus help that is the main and biggest dodge and burn action where you have two sets of curves plus a helping layer there's dodge and burn additional there's a set dodge plus burn together then you need to do some additional dodging and burning and there is a burn and dodge on its own as well in case you need them so you don't have to create everything all the time so let's just actually start with uh, dodging and burning i'll show you a little bit and then i'll skip ahead and show you the final result i'm always starting with uh, this big dodge and burn plus help that's the first or actually second step of my workflow but i'm always using this action where there are two sets of curves and a helping layer as well so hit the play and let it create all the actions and we can actually do a little bit of dodging and burning i'm starting with uh, micro dodging and burning for micro dodge and burn you are zoomed in really really close in image and you're trying to sort out these little imperfections that are there that are a little bit distracting and then can make transitions between the light and the dark a little bit more seamless then i'm moving on on to general dodging and burning without a helping layer because i like to see the colors when i'm uh, doing this step here i will be lightening the light parts and darkening the dark parts to bring a little more dimension so basically principle is the same in a burn there is a dark version of the image hidden under the mask with dodge there is a light version of the image hidden under the mask with a white brush we can uncover those version of the images only on the places where we need to so if you want to make this part a little bit darker and this part a little bit lighter to make it seamless but not too flat we can do that 
with the general dodging and burning you want to just bring a contrast so you'll be going over the light areas with the dodge and dark areas with burn so I hope that makes sense uh, enough of the talking I'll just start dodging and burning and maybe you will see hopefully just zoom in a little and uh, you know start working on this bit I'm using a small rounded brush now I'm on the dodge layer with flow 1% opacity 100% everything's normal let's bring the flow a little higher 3% is fine and I was just going over the dark parts to make the dark bits disappear as I'm uncovering the brighter version of the image that's hidden under the torch mask. It's quite simple. Once you understand how it works, then you are good to go, you know, and you can use the dodge and burn for not just for portraits but basically for anything. I'm not gonna do too much, I just wanna quickly show you. Um, same applies for burn. Uh, you are clicking on burn, there's the darker version of the image hidden. We can paint wherever there are areas too bright. So we can make them a little bit more put together, if that's the word. Switch between a dodge and burn all the time, don't just dodge or don't just burn, you know, you need to keep the balance. That's it for a real quick one, I think. I'm just gonna show you very, very quickly what a couple of seconds of dodging and burning can actually do. I know this is just a little tiny part of the face of the image, but that's the whole point, you know, because you're working on the pixel level for the best results. So let's have a look at before and after. So I think it's quite visible and hopefully understandable <laughs> what actually is going on with the dodging and burning. And then when you want to move on to general, you'll do basically the same. Grab dodge, bring the flow higher. 12% is good. Keep changing the size of the brushes as you need to and just go over the light parts with your dodge and go over the dark parts with your burn to bring a little bit more dimension, more contrast. And you basically keep going, keep going until uh, you are happy with the results and when you are you should be getting something something like this. So just make the transitions between the lights and the shadows a little bit more seamless all with the dodging and burning. Guys I hope you find this video helpful and you learn a little bit more about dodging and burning and now you'll be able to create your own actions for your own benefit. So I hope to see you here next time because we're gonna talk about color grading. For now, bye!